I welcome you all for this uh, session. In the last session, we discussed about uh, the different uh, types of uh, micrometers. Now, uh, we shall continue with that. We will discuss uh, some more types of uh, micrometers uh, available. Now, this is uh, a micrometer of range 25 to 50 millimeter. And now, the speciality of this is we have a counter here, mechanical counter. So, when we rotate the thimble, we can uh, the counter will uh, change and then we can directly take the reading from this. So, this uh, figure uh, shows a digital uh, caliper, wherein uh, we can see there is a digital display. This is a dual type we have uh, the graduations on uh, sleeve and uh, thimble also we can read uh, this mechanical system as well as the digital uh, system. Now, we can see the uh, various uh, uh, buttons available. This is uh, a button for uh, switching from uh, English system to metric system and then we have on off uh, button and this is a zero button. At any point of time, we can or at any uh, uh, location of the spindle, we can set zero and from that reference, the readings uh, will be given. Uh, so, like this, uh, this can be used as a comparator. We can set the distance between uh, anvil and uh, spindle using a setting master. For example, say uh, 15 millimeter setting master we use and at, uh, at a distance of uh, 15 millimeter, we can uh, set uh, 0 and we can check the work pieces and then uh, the micrometer will indicate only the deviation from uh, 15 millimeter set setting. So, this way we can use this as a uh, comparator and you can see we using this hold button, we can uh, hold the uh, uh, display and then uh, we have direct data input to computer. That means, from here RS 232 C uh, 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 data transmission is possible uh, by connecting the suitable cables, we can uh, transmit uh, transfer the data to a um, computer for uh, statistical process uh, control. Now, this shows uh, uh, a close view of uh, the uh, display. And uh, see, in this case, uh, we have to put uh, the battery and uh, whenever uh, uh, the battery goes down, we have to recharge and we should uh, use it. Now, recently solar uh, powered micrometers uh, have been developed. So, the light is uh, converted into uh, electricity and that is uh, stored in the battery. So, that way uh, solar powered uh, micrometers are also available. So, this is uh, a special uh, type of uh, micrometer, sheet metal micrometer. We can see the construction, we have a U type uh, body. The distance between, uh, uh, you can see the in this distance is uh, longer, so that we can insert uh, the sheet metal or the uh, plates for measurement for thickness measurement purpose. And then uh, we have a large uh, diameter uh, dial for uh, easy reading. And then again, we have a ratchet uh, mechanism. So, there is no vernier, only one uh, dial uh, scale we have. So, we can take the, this case the direct uh, reading and uh, the uh, resolution of this is 0 0.01 uh, millimeter. And in different uh, ranges, uh, the sheet metal uh, micrometers are available. Uh, is a range of 0 to 25 or range of 0 to 10 millimeter, is a range of 0 to 12 millimeter. Uh, see, we have uh, miniature uh, uh, thickness uh, measuring uh, micrometers are also where in the range will be like 0 to 4 mm, 0 to 5 mm, which are used for uh, measurement of paper thickness or thin film uh, thicknesses or for measurement of jewelry. So, such things are uh, possible. Now, this is the close view of uh, the dial. Uh, we can see the reading is uh, very easy here, readability of the dial is very, very easy uh, where the graduations uh, we can see and then all the, the numbers are uh, printed and they are uh, 
very easily readable. Other interesting thing is uh, we can observe the pointer is very close to the dial. So, this is uh, for uh, elimination of the parallax uh, error. And then we have another kind of uh, micrometer which is a limit uh, micrometer. You can see this has a dual spindle, two spindles and two anvils. So, this these two uh, spindles can be used for setting uh, the upper limit and lower limit. This is for uh, tolerance uh, setting upper limit uh, um, can be set in this and the lower limit dimension can be set in this and then we can insert the work piece. So, if it goes and if it does not uh, enter here the work piece is uh, acceptable. Now, let me explain how to use uh, the depth micrometer. First, let us see what are the various parts of the depth micrometer. We can see the body of uh, the micrometer, the spindle of the micrometer and then we have the sleeve and the main scale and now you can see the uh, the scale is reversed. So, 0 is somewhere here and then 10, 15, 20, 25 like this and then this is the thimble and thimble uh, scale. So, the uh, resolution of this uh, instrument is 0 0.01 mm and uh, range is 0 to 150 millimeter uh, using uh, these uh, extension rods. Depending upon the depth that is to be measured, we can select the appropriate extension rod and we can put the extension rod uh, inside this and then we can use. If there is any zero error, we can uh, uh, rotate uh, this uh, sleeve by using a spanner and then we can make the zero error uh, zero. Now, how do we check the zero error of this uh, instrument? So, what we should do is we have to completely withdraw the spindle by rotating the thimble like this and then uh, we have to keep in the after withdrawing the spindle completely in we have to keep uh, the instrument on the surface plate and then we have to rotate the thimble in the other direction so that the spindle just touches the surface plate and then we should uh, uh, read the scale. Now, you can see that there is uh, some 0 error. Okay. So, we have to rotate uh, the uh, sleeve for making uh, 0 adjustment. Now, uh, we have to take the spanner and we have to rotate uh, this uh, sleeve and then we have to make it uh, 0. Now, we can see uh, the 0 on the thimble is coinciding with uh, this uh, reference line. Now, this is uh, ready for use. Now, uh, how do we use this for measurement of uh, thickness of a work piece? So, I have a work piece here. Uh, I am keeping the work piece here and then I have to keep the instrument like this and then I have to press this body and then I have to rotate the thimble. So, that the spindle just touches the surface. Now, it is moving towards the work piece and so the surface and uh, now see we should not uh, over pressurize it. Now, we have to op operate this ratchet. Now, it is ready for uh, reading. Now, we can see the thimble has uh, just uh, crossed uh, 10 millimeter and it is uh, 
near uh, 10.5 okay and then after that we have uh, 0 1 2 2 divisions that means the thickness of uh, the workpiece is 10.5 millimeter and then we have to add uh, 2 divisions 2 divisions means uh, 0 0.02 so thickness of uh, the workpiece is 10.5 millimeter. So, this is how we can use uh, depth micrometers for measuring the thickness. Similarly, we can uh, measure the inside uh, diameter and uh, inside depth whole depth. So, in that case we have to keep the instrument like this and then we have to advance the spindle like this till the spindle just touches the bottom surface uh, datum and then we can lift and again we can take the reading. So, next uh, we have a, a special uh, type of uh, micrometer which is known as a laser scan uh, micrometer. Uh, you can see the arrangement of uh, the laser scanning. So, one side we have emitter, we have laser source, we have uh, rotating polygon mirror and then uh, optical uh, lenses are there and then we get the laser light, it falls on the receiver side. Again we have lenses and photodiode. So, from here we can take out the uh, electrical signal and it can be fixed to the digital display. Now, we have to keep the work pieces here for uh, measurement uh, purpose. Now, this uh, shows uh, uh, a laser scan micrometer and uh, this is the place where we have to keep the work pieces and there are some uh, stages, uh, work piece uh, setting stages are available. So, depending upon the requirement, depending upon whether we are uh, measuring uh, the wires or uh, uh, sheets or plates or round bars, cylinders etcetera, we have to choose appropriate uh, stage and we have to fix the uh, stage here and then uh, laser will fall on the work piece and then uh, the receiver receives it and it, it is sent to the display unit. Now, you can see one example here, this is a diameter and uh, measurement, uh, height measurement. So, you can see the component here. So, at a time we can measure all these uh, sizes, all these diameters and another interesting thing is we can also measure the heights. So, at a time we can get a diameter and uh, height measurement and uh, this uh, shows an x, y, z uh, table wherein we have micrometer heads. So, using micrometer heads uh, we can uh, create uh, stages like x, y stage or x, y, z uh, tables. Now, we have some uh, specifications of uh, laser scan uh, micrometer, uh, 650 nanometer visible uh, laser is used uh, uh, for the measurement purpose and the operating temperature is uh, 0 to 40 degree Celsius. Now, you can see here uh, the, uh, the measuring uh, ranges in different ranges the mic uh, laser scan micrometers are available like 0 0.05 to 10 millimeter and then 1 to 60 millimeter range, 1 to 160 millimeter uh, range and then resolu resolution also you can see uh, the, it is uh, 0 0.01 to 10 uh, micrometer for this particular range and for the second range it is 0 0.05 to 100 and for third range it is 0 0.1 to 100. So, uh, the mm, uh, 0 0.01 to 10 uh, micrometer resolution means they are selectable depending upon the accuracy that is needed we can always uh, select the required uh, resolution. So, where uh, very fine uh, precision measurements is required we can go for very fine resolution for medium uh, or uh, uh, precision work we can uh, select uh, the, uh, 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 the appropriate uh, resolutions. Now, uh, I told you about uh, the, uh, state, uh, the uh, table adjusting uh, adjustable workstation that means, between the uh, emitter and receiver uh, we have to place some stages workstations 
and these there are uh, adjustable workstations, vertical uh, adjustable workstations and horizontal workstations are available. We can select appropriate uh, workstation and we can uh, use them. For example, <coughs> say we have uh, the uh, laser uh, scan micrometer like this and this is the pla place where we keep the adjustable uh, workstation. So, here this can be moved uh, horizontally and uh, there is arrangement to move this uh, vertically and then uh, say we have uh, we can keep the work pieces here and then uh, laser will fall here and then it receives and then it gives uh, the dimensions. So, like this we are uh, uh, depending upon the work piece uh, we have to select appropriate uh, work stations. And then uh, air blowing is possible to clear the dust for example, say on the uh, the window where uh, we get the laser and where we receive the lasers we have windows. So, there should not be any dust particle uh, laying on uh, the windows or lenses. So, for cleaning purpose air blows are possible before we are using uh, the uh, micrometer we have to clean all the uh, surfaces and then we can uh, use it. And then uh, for uh, calibration purpose uh, standard uh, calibration gauge sets uh, are available along with the micrometer before using we can uh, put that uh, gauge set and we can calibrate and then we can use the micrometer. And uh, the I told you about uh, the different ranges available and uh, the selectable resolutions that are possible. See the resolution here is 0 0.01 micrometer such uh, fine resolutions are possible and uh, these uh, micrometers uh, they, uh, uh, they provide they they are capable of uh, providing the repeatability of uh, plus or minus uh, 0 0.04 uh, micrometer and for this particular range uh, plus or minus 1.4 repeatability. So, their uh, uh, very uh, good uh, repeatability is uh, assured and they also very good accurate uh, measuring measurement is possible for this uh, 0 0.05 to 10 millimeter range uh, you can see the accuracy is uh, plus or minus 0 0.5 micrometer. That means, See, we get uh, some uh, uh, result, we measure some maybe the diameter of uh, the spindle and we get some uh, uh, data. So, that uh, data the true value of the component will be within the, uh, the this variation plus or minus. So, for example, if we get uh, 8 millimeter as the diameter and then the, uh, the, uh, the uh, true value of the uh, work piece will be uh, 8 millimeter plus or minus 0 0.0005 millimeter such a great uh, accuracy we can uh, get. And then uh, say the, these instruments they have a very high measurement uh, speed like uh, 3200 scan per second. That means, if you have conveyor and if uh, the work pieces are moving continuously. So, at a very high uh, speed uh, we can measure the components. So, for mass production uh, we can uh, use uh, uh, the instruments like this. Now, there are very interesting applications of uh, these uh, laser scan micrometer. Now, inline measurement of uh, glass fiber or uh, fine wire is possible. For example, uh, say this is the uh, laser uh, scan micrometer. So, and then we have the glass fiber or uh, some other uh, kind of fine wire. So, the wire is moving in this direction and at the other end, at the, at the other end we have a receiver receiving roller. So, it will be continuously moving this glass fiber or fine wire will be continuously moving and the, the laser will be scanning what is the diameter of uh, the, uh, the uh, fiber and then uh, uh, that, that means, continuous monitoring of uh, the diameter of wires uh, is possible. So, wherever there is a deviation we can uh, uh, make some uh, adjustments in the settings, uh, so that we get uh, the wire in within the to tolerance. And then we have uh, uh, OD measurement, taper measurement and out of roundness uh, measurement of uh, cylinder is possible. Uh, for example, uh, say we have uh, a round uh, work piece like this and we have uh, kept it between the laser emitter and uh, 
receiver using appropriate uh, work stage. So, the laser uh, will be falling like this. Okay, laser is falling like this and uh, here this work piece obstructs the laser. So, we get uh, like. So, now this distance gives the diameter of the work piece. So, that this is a woody measurement and then taper also we can measure for example, we have the work piece like this. So, we and we have the uh, micrometer here. and we have the window here to receive this is uh, receiving side and here it is uh, the laser is emitted. Now, either we can move the micrometer or we can move the work piece. So, the it takes uh, the diameter here and then when we move the work piece it takes the diameter at the other point. So, like this uh, multiple scannings are possible and then we can this will give by processing the, the data we can say whether it is uh, uh, perfect cylinder or any uh, taperness is there that can be checked. And then uh, out of roundness also can be checked for example, we can keep uh, a, this is the work piece and we can keep a reference here or a ga reference gauge and then uh, uh, we have to rotate this uh, work piece and laser will be falling like this. Okay, laser will be falling like this. Okay. Now, if there is any variation in the uh, work piece, so this gap will vary. So, this gap will vary and that gives uh, the out of roundness of the work piece. Similarly, this can be used for measurement of uh, thickness of uh, sheets. like this we have uh, a reference uh, gauge and then we have uh, the roller on which uh, the sheet is moving paper or some uh, sheet some thin film is moving like this. And then see the laser is uh, falling like this. Okay. Now, if there is any variation, if there is any, so this is the, the uh, if there is any variation in the sheet thickness, so this uh, gap will vary and that gives the deviation from the required thickness of the sheet. So, like this uh, the uh, film uh, thicknesses uh, variation of the th thicknesses can be measured and then spacing of IC chip heads. Uh, for example, we have uh, an IC chip like this. And then uh, we have the leads uh, like this. So, this uh, we can keep uh, between uh, the in the micrometer and uh, the laser will be falling like this. So, it will measure the distance between two uh, chip uh, leads. So, if there is any variation uh, we get the uh, measurement result. Then gap between rollers, rollers also we can uh, check for example, see in the uh, rolling mills we need to set uh, the distance between uh, rollers very precisely. So, we have two rollers like this and we want uh, very th thin uh, sheets wherein uh, we have very tight uh, tolerance. So, in that case uh, for setting the uh, distance uh, between uh, rollers we can uh, use uh, uh, this uh, laser scan micrometer. So, this will uh, this distance will give the distance between uh, rollers. So, very precisely we can uh, accurately we can set the distance between uh, two and we can uh, uh, 
whenever, whenever uh, the distance is to be checked, we can use this uh, laser scan micrometer. And then measurement of form is also possible, whether the, there is any uh, variation in the cylindricity is there, whether it is drum, uh, drum shaped or uh, double uh, bell uh, shaped like this, barrel shape. So, if uh, the work piece is like this, so by scanning uh, multiple scanning, we will come to know uh, what is the shape of the work piece. And uh, sometimes uh, the we say we have work piece is very large, large uh, cylinder is there and we want to measure the diameter of that. In that cases, uh, dual uh, micrometer uh, arrangement is uh, possible. Uh, for example, this is the diameter of the work piece, it is a large uh, work piece and then we can have uh, two micrometers like this and on the other side uh, receivers. So, now, so laser will be falling like this ok. We get one reading here and then uh, another reading here. So, this uh, will give the diameter of the work piece. So, like this uh, we can uh, use uh, uh, x y in x and y direction x x uh, direction y y direction depending upon the application we can uh, use multiple uh, laser scan micrometers and we data can be required data can be taken. Now, let us uh, move to the whole uh, measuring uh, instruments. Uh, there are uh, different kinds of uh, instruments are available like uh, bore gauges, 2 point contact bore gauges, 3 point contact uh, bore gauges and similarly, dial caliper gauges are available for a quick uh, measurement of the di inside uh, dimension of a hole and then uh, uh, inside uh, or internal micrometers are also available wherein 2 point contact uh, micrometers and 3 point contact uh, micrometers are available. So, we will uh, study some of these things. Now, uh, let us move to the whole measuring uh, instruments. Uh, in the manufacturing plants, we come across with uh, many times we come across with measurement of uh, uh, holes, the inside uh, dimension of uh, different uh, sizes. It may be very small hole like 1 millimeter diameter, 2 millimeter diameter or it can be very large uh, hole like uh, uh, 100 millimeters, 200 millimeters, 300 millimeters and then uh, different uh, kinds of uh, instruments are available. Now, let us study some of the instruments, uh, bore gauge, uh, uh, bore gauges are available with different uh, ranges and then we have uh, dial caliper uh, gauges for uh, quick uh, measurement of inside uh, dimension and then we have internal uh, micrometers, different types of internal micrometers. Now, let us study these things one by one. Let me explain uh, the bore gauge. Uh, this is the bore gauge, this is the gripper part, so, where we have to hold uh, the bore gauge. You can see uh, an insulating material is uh, provided here, so that uh, the operator body heat will not flow into the uh, instrument. Now, this is uh, the range of the instrument 18 to 35 millimeter and this is the dial okay. and then we have uh, the uh, measuring portion here. So, we have a round uh, guide here which will make contact with uh, the uh, bore of the work piece and this is the measuring uh, stylus which will move in and out. This is carbide uh, tipped uh, to prevent uh, to reduce the wear and then this is the fixed portion which will make contact with uh, the wall of the hole and again this is the, the carbide uh, tip is there. So, these are interchangeable anvils depending upon the size of the hole we can uh, remove uh, these uh, anvils and we can replace them. You can see here different uh, 
anvils are available with different sizes 24 millimeter, 26 millimeter like this and also some washers are available. So, if required we can use uh, these washers to increase the length. Now, I will explain how to use bore gauge for measuring uh, the size of the hole. I have taken an anvil of uh, 22 millimeter and then I will uh, just measure what is the distance between uh, the anvil and spindle. So, so the distance between uh, the stylus and this point is as given by micrometer it is 22.79 millimeter. Now, the dial is uh, reading 0. I will just insert the measuring portion in the hole like this. Now, we have to see the pointer is moving in the clockwise direction. Now, we have the 0 reference here and then in the clockwise direction it is moving. We have to rock or we have to swivel the bore gauge like this, so that it checks the correct uh, diameter. For that we have to take what is the maximum reading that is given by the bore gauge. Now, it is reading 74 divisions that means 0.74. So, now slowly I am removing this. Now, that uh, 0 0.74 I have to deduct from the initial setting of 22.79, so that we will get uh, 22.05 millimeter. That means, the diameter of this hole is 22.05 millimeter. Now, we have uh, another kind of uh, instrument known as dial caliper gauge. You can see here I have uh, a dial caliper in my hand. This is the dial of the dial caliper and we have uh, two legs of uh, the dial caliper and we have a lever here for uh, moving the legs. For uh, zero error uh, checking, we can uh, use uh, the setting master and we can check uh, the zero errors and then we can uh, use the instrument. The range of this particular instrument is 10 to 30 millimeter and the resolution of this instrument is 0 0.01 millimeter. Now, let me explain how we can uh, use this uh, dial caliper for measurement of uh, internal uh, diameters. I have a component here and uh, I have to measure the internal diameter of uh, this uh, work piece. Now, I have to keep the work piece on the surface plate and then I have to operate the lever, so that the two legs come closer like this and then I have to insert the two legs into the bore of the work piece into the hole and then we have to swivel like this to and then we should take the minimum uh, reading. Minimum reading will give the diameter of the work piece. And when uh, the caliper is like this, we should not uh, read because this will uh, lead to cosine error as shown on the black board. Now, let us move uh, to the internal uh, micrometers. Now, there are uh, different kinds of internal uh, micrometers like uh, 2 point uh, internal micrometer and 3 point internal micrometer. The problem with uh, 2 point internal micrometer is uh, uh, say we have a hole of this shape. 
So, if we use the two point internal micrometer what happens is they contact, uh, so this is the micrometer. contact will be at uh, only two points and to get uh, the mean value of uh, the bore or the hole we have to take uh, uh, at least uh, 3 to 4 uh, readings and then we have to get the mean and that will be the di diameter of the hole. If we take only one reading we may get some wrong reading for example, say there is vovality like this and if we take only one reading it may give a larger uh, diameter. If you take the diameter uh, at this place, it will give a smaller uh, diameter. So, such problem will be there in the two point internal micrometer. To avoid that, uh, the three point internal micrometers uh, have been developed. There will be co contact at three points. So, automatic uh, centering will be there and we get uh, the directly the mean uh, diameter. Now, you can see the three point uh, internal uh, micrometer, a diagram is uh, written here. So, this is the front view and this is the end view. You can see these are the uh, points or uh, we just sometimes we say pin and sometimes we say anvil. There are three anvils separated at uh, an angle of uh, 120 degrees and we have uh, the micrometer unit here. This is the sleeve with the main scale and thimble and we have the thimble uh, scale. So, when we operate uh, this uh, thimble these uh, anvils they move in and move out depending upon the direction in which uh, we rotate the thimble. So, initially what we should uh, do is uh, we have to set this micro we have to see whether uh, the setting is uh, correct or not whether micrometer is uh, giving uh, proper result or not that means, whether there is any 0 error. So, setting uh, rings are uh, available along with the micrometer using setting rings uh, we have to check for 0 error if there is any 0 error uh, we, we have to adjust it and then we can uh, use this uh, micrometer. Now, different uh, ranges uh, are available like 6 to 8 uh, millimeter range, 8 to 10 millimeter range and 10 to 12 uh, millimeter range. They are also available uh, uh, from 100 to 300 millimeter in steps of uh, 25 millimeter. Now, uh, we have to insert this uh, uh, micrometer inside the hole and then we have to operate the thimble. So, the pins will move out and they will come in contact with uh, the inner wall of the bore and then we can directly take the reading. So, like this uh, we can uh, use uh, three point internal uh, micrometers and uh, the, the such instruments uh, they are capable of uh, a very good accuracy of uh, plus or minus uh, two micrometer uh, at uh, the, uh, the lower uh, ranges. Now, let us see the internal uh, micrometers. Now, we can see the three internal micrometers are available here. The range is uh, 6 to 8 millimeter, then 8 to 10 millimeter and then 10 to 12 millimeter. Now, uh, we can see the pins here anvils. So, there will be three anvils now you can see three anvils are there at 120 degree apart and then uh, this is the scale on the thimble so 0 to 50 50 divisions are there and then uh, this is the vernier 10 graduations are there for the vernier uh, scale. So, the resolution of this uh, instrument is uh, 0 0.001 millimeter and uh, main scale we can see here on the sleeve this is the main scale the range of this uh, instrument is 6 to 8 millimeter. Similarly, we have another uh, uh, internal micrometer with this range 8 to 10 millimeter and then uh, the main scale on the sleeve and then vernier scale and then thimble scale. Similarly, we have uh, one more uh, internal micrometer three point internal micrometer three anvils are there and then the range of this is 10 to 12 millimeter and then we have uh, the main scale here on the sleeve and then vernier scale and the scale on the thimble. 
So, again uh, the resolution of this instrument is 1 division is equal to 0 0.001 millimeter. Sometimes if the hole is uh, very deep then we can uh, use uh, this extension rod, we can fix this extension rod uh, here and then uh, the deeper holes can be checked. For fixing this extension rod you can see here at both the ends we have uh, threaded ends, this is a threaded end as well as uh, we have uh, threads here. And then initially before using uh, uh, we should uh, clean the anvils, so that uh, the dust and uh, oily layer uh, is removed and then uh, we have to check for zero error, for that uh, masters are given. So, this is a 10 millimeter uh, master and uh, this is a 7.996 millimeter that is 8 millimeter uh, master is given. Using these masters uh, we have to check for uh, zero error and then we can use the uh, instrument for uh, hole measurement. Now, let me explain how to measure the diameter of uh, this hole. I am taking this uh, internal micrometer of 8 to 10 millimeter uh, range and then I am rotating uh, the thimble, so that the anvils are withdrawn. Now, anvils are moving in all the anvils now they, they have moved in and now I have to insert the instrument inside and then we have to rotate the thimble. Now, the anvils are coming out, they make contact with uh, the internal wall of the hole and then we should put the ratchet, operate the ratchet. Now, this is ready for uh, reading. Now, you can see the tenth graduation is uh, just uh, visible. That means, uh, thimble has crossed uh, 9.5 uh, millimeter and now we have to take uh, the reading uh, zero reference is here and uh, the, uh, the graduation on thimble uh, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So, 44th graduation on the thimble is coinciding here that means, uh, the reading is uh, 0 0.44 uh, millimeter and then we have to look for uh, which one is coinciding, coinciding division. So, in this case uh, the 44th reading itself is coinciding uh, here 0, 0 graduation is coinciding here. Uh, so, the if we add 0.44 with uh, 9.5, the reading will be 9.94. So, the diameter of this uh, hole is 9.94 millimeter. So, like this we have to take the readings. Uh, let us uh, conclude uh, this uh, session. In this session, we discussed about uh, different uh, types of uh, micrometers like uh, the digital uh, micrometer and then uh, sheet metal thickness uh, micrometer and then depth micrometer and also the laser scan uh, micrometers and what are the various applications of uh, laser uh, scan micrometers, what are the uh, specifications of laser scan micrometers, those things uh, we studied. Also, we discussed about uh, the different uh, hole uh, measurement uh, devices like uh, bore gauges and uh, dial caliper gauges and then internal uh, 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 micrometers. In the next uh, session, we will continue with uh, linear uh, measuring instruments. Thank you.